in this question, we're given a circle. On the left hand side of the circle is a 13 centimeter long cord. From the top of the cord is a six centimeter horizontal line. And then coming down from that is a vertical line of 18 centimeters, which touches the circle again at the bottom. Using just this information, we need to work out what is the radius of the circle. We're going to solve this problem using coordinates and the equation of a circle. So we're going to set it up such that our circle lies on some axes and the bottom of that 13 centimeter cord is at the origin zero, zero. From there, as we've got a 13 centimeter cord going straight up, we can see that where it touches the circle at its top, that must have coordinates zero, 13 because it's still on the y-axis, but it's gone up 13 centimeters. If we now go across six centimeters and down 18 centimeters, we'll get to the bottom of the other vertical line. Well, from zero 13, if we go across six and down 13, we would get a coordinate six minus five. And we're also gonna call the center of the circle our unknowns A and B. And we're gonna use all of these along with the formula for a circle, which is x minus a, all squared, add y minus b, all squared, equals r squared, where a and b are the center of our circle and r is the radius. We can now use this equation and our three sets of coordinates to create three simultaneous equations. So let's start with the origin, zero, zero. If we put that in for x and y, we would end up with zero minus a, all squared, which just becomes a squared, and zero minus b all squared, which just becomes b squared. So we end up with a squared plus b squared equals r squared, and I'm gonna call that equation one. We can then put zero 13 in there, so we get a squared plus 13 minus b all squared is equal to r squared. I'm gonna call that equation two. And our last point, six minus five, that would give us six minus a all squared plus minus five minus b all squared again is equal to r squared. And we're gonna call that equation three. We've now got three simultaneous equations and we've got three unknowns, a, b, and r. So we should be able to solve these. So I'm gonna start by doing equation two, take away equation one. And the reason I've picked that is because the a squareds and the r squareds will cancel each other out, just leaving us with b. So looking at the left-hand side, as I say, the a squareds are gonna cancel out, so we're gonna be left with 13 minus b all squared from equation two, minus the b squared from equation one, and on the right-hand side, the r squareds cancel out, so this is equal to zero. If we expand our brackets, we get 169 minus two lots of 13b, 26b, plus b squared, and then we've still got the minus b squared equals zero on the end, so our b squareds cancel out, 169 minus 26b equals zero, meaning that b must be equal to 169 over 26, which simplifies to give 13 over two. Now that we've got a value for b, we can put this back into two of our equations from above to then set up some more simultaneous equations to work out a. So to work out a, we're gonna to need to pick two equations which have got different setups for a in them. So as one and two are both a squared, I'm gonna use equation three for the six minus a all squared. And then I'm just gonna pick equation one because it's simpler than equation two. That's the only reason. So putting our value for b into equation one, we get a squared plus 13 over two all squared equals r squared. So a squared plus 169 over four is equal to r squared. And putting our value for b into equation three, we get six minus a all squared plus minus five minus 13 over two, all squared is equal to r squared. Expanding that first bracket and simplifying the second one, we get 36 minus 12a plus a squared plus the square of negative 23 over two is equal to r squared. Bring in the 36 and the square of minus 23 over two together, we get that a squared minus 12a plus 673 over four is equal to r squared. So now we've got our new forms for equations one and three, we can bring them together to work out A. Now the reason we're gonna work out A first, even though ultimately we want to work out R, 
is because it's going to be a lot easier to cancel out those r squareds from 1 and 3 to work out a and then go back to work out r than it will be to cancel out the a's at this point. So as both equations 1 and 3 are equal to r squared, that means the left-hand sides must be equal to each other. So from 1 and 3, we get a squared plus 169 over 4 from equation 1 is equal to a squared minus 12a plus 673 over 4 from equation 3. We can now subtract a squared, subtract 169 over 4 from both sides. We get that 0 is equal to minus 12a plus 126. So a is equal to 126 over 12, which is 21 over 2. Now we've got a, we can put this back into any of our equations from above to work out r squared. So I'm going to put it back into 1 just because it's the easiest one. So 21 over 2 squared plus 169 over 4 is equal to r squared. So r squared is equal to 305 over 2. r is equal to the square root of 305 over 2, which as a decimal is approximately 12.35 centimetres. So there we have it. There's the radius of our circle. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe or check out more of my videos by clicking on the links here.